What is a Pearson correlation? With the help of Pearson correlation, we can measure the linear relationship between two variables. For example, is there a relationship between a person's salary and age? Here we can determine how strong the correlation is and in which direction the correlation goes. We can read both in the Pearson correlation coefficient r, which is between minus 1 and 1. A positive correlation exists when large values of one variable go along with large values of the other variable, or when small values of one variable go along with small values of the other variable. A positive correlation is found, for example, for body size and shoe size. The result is a positive correlation coefficient. A negative correlation exists when large values of one variable go along with small values of the other variable, and vice versa. A negative correlation usually exists between product price and sales volume. The result is a negative correlation coefficient. How is the Pearson correlation calculated? The Pearson correlation coefficient is obtained via this equation, where r is the Pearson correlation coefficient, xi are the individual values of one variable, e.g. age, yi are the individual values of the other variable, e.g. salary, and x dash and y dash are respectively the mean values of the two variables. So in our example we calculate the mean values of age and salary. We then subtract the mean values from each person's age and salary. We then multiply both values. Then we sum up the individual results of the multiplication. The expression in the denominator ensures that the correlation coefficient is scaled between minus 1 and 1. If we now multiply two positive values, we get a positive value. So all values that lie in this area have a positive influence on the correlation coefficient. If we multiply two negative values, we also get a positive value. Minus times minus is plus. So all values that lie in this area also have a positive influence on the correlation coefficient. If we multiply a positive value and a negative value, we get a negative value. Minus times plus is minus. So all values that lie in these ranges have a negative influence on the correlation coefficient. Therefore, if our values are predominantly in these two areas, we get a positive correlation coefficient and thus a positive relationship. If our values are predominantly in these two areas, we get a negative correlation coefficient and thus a negative relationship. If the points are distributed over all four areas, the positive terms and the negative terms cancel each other out and we get a very small or no correlation.